Hello and welcome to the Recursion Cafe. Today we have a game between Bruce Lee and Bloody Mary. On the left is myself playing Bruce Lee, the creator of the fighting style Jeet Kune Do. At the end of your turn you may br move Bruce Lee up to one space. And he is move 3 with 14 health. On the right we have Dan piloting Bloody Mary, the terrifying lady that comes out of a mirror. At the start of your turn, if you have exactly 3 cards in hand, you gain 1 action. Also a melee fighter with 3 move. So right off the bat, um, Bruce tends to have an advantage against uh, solo melee fighters because of his ability. He can always step back, making it very hard for the opponent to double attack. However, uh, Bloody Mary has a couple of ways around this. This is one of them, closer than she appears, uh, moving her up to one space, drawing a card, gaining an action. Both of these fighters like to gain actions a lot. So here Dan plays Broken Glass into my skirmish. I knew that I wanted to get away from Bloody Mary because she would have a third action, and a lot of her cards are stronger when they are the third action, so Skirmish would hopefully win me the combat and get me away before Bloody Mary could fire that ability. I still take some damage from it because uh, Broken Glass, you can pump the value up or down, and if it matches, you do two damage and draw a card, um, which is pretty strong. It's one of her best cards in my opinion. It's really nice. It looks like I move her back in, and I have some Jeet Kune Do cards in my hand, so let's start the party. Am I going to swing? Yep, here we are. We start with the Intercepting Fist, cancelling all effects on the Evade, so it is a 3 attack into 3 defense, gain an action, no card draw from Bloody Mary. We keep the chain going. Here's the next one, it is a Corkscrew Finger Jab, which would deal 1 damage. Uh, by the effect, it doesn't because it's cancelled, but it still puts one through because it is a 3 to a 2. With no action gain, I just decide to take a step away. Dan decides to move back and draw up to 6 cards. I, as Bruce, uh, am forced to move in. Oh no, I still draw up to 7 cards. Okay. Both these fighters, uh, well, Bruce definitely likes to have lots of cards in hand. Bloody Mary, I like to think of her ability as you can play either with a lot of cards in hand, which is always good, or if you have less cards in hand, you still get a bonus. So Bloody Mary moves in. It's her third action. I decide to feint this because, of course, uh, the third action is always scary. It would have been a seven swing, uh, but with the feint, it's only a three into a two. I take one damage. Looks like I take a shot back. It is just a regroup this time. I know that holding seven cards, it uh, as Bruce, it is quite scary and uh, combos can pop off quite easily. But I just decide to regroup. I don't think I'm holding any Geek Kundo cards in hand, but fortunately Dan doesn't know that. So I will simply one inch punch, which is the short range, two damage effect, and then take a step back. Bloody Mary has no sidekick, so there's no real point in holding that one back. Bloody Mary decides to pursue and uses Bloody Requiem, which is her double attack, which is the gimmick from uh, all of the Volume 2 fighters. So there's a 3 into a, another attack, which is the value of the defense that I played first time. I decide to get one of the Jeet Kune Do cards back, I believe it's the Intercepting Fist. And into the second attack, I just play another Be, Be Like Water and I'll get the other one back. So both of the Jeet Kune Do cards I've played I have back in my hand, and Bloody Mary sat right next to me, so this seems like a, a decent place to be. Dan is still two health above me, uh, which is how we started, so things are pretty even at the moment. Here is a court screw, so I put one damage through, Dan gets to draw a card, seems like everyone's happy. What will I follow up with? I will maneuver, it turns out. I didn't want to fire off an entire combo just there. Dan still has plenty of options, so it doesn't seem necessary at all. I decide to step even further away. At this point, Dan correctly points out that uh, because we, always, we both have so many cards in hand, I have to come to him. So he correctly just blocks off the access. So I either have to boost up to him, burning cards, or I have to overdraw and ditch a card, which is less than ideal. And it was, a, it was a misplay on my part and correctly analyzed by Dan there. So I'm holding eight cards. I discard Taste of Blood, which isn't greatly useful at this point. And Dan then follows up immediately with a stolen memory. So he gets to look at my full hand of cards, take the card he doesn't want me to have, and force me to either discard it or take damage. Since Bruce Lee doesn't have much healing, 
it's I'll, I'll probably discard it he also has ways of getting these back so it's not so bad I will move in boost with a regroup uh, stand right next to Bloody Mary and momentous shift into a feint which only does one damage through but it's not so bad it could have been um, a Jeek and Doe that you fainted it also means both feints are out of Bloody Mary's deck so I don't have to worry about those anymore I still have to contend with all the movement effects, but no feint isn't a bad thing. So we have Out of the Mirror into Be Like Water. Out of the Mirror is basically like an ambush, uh, discarding a card out of my hand and adding the boost value. It discards one of the said recursion cards out of my hand and hits through my 3 defense for 1 damage, putting me to 10. I get the Way of the Intercepting Fist back. And let's go again. Since Bloody Mary's values aren't super high, but she has lots of uh, good effects, having like offensive cancel is always really nice. I played Nunchucks, increasing the value, the attack value of all my attacks by the, uh, for this turn. And we have the said cancel into the movement effect. Uh, there we go. So it's still a four to a four. No damage goes through, but Bloody Mary cannot uh, step away. We have a short lead hook into Trick of the Light, so that's a four into a two. So at this point, uh, Bloody Mary dances around me, and then I swap us, just to, just to kind of have some fun with that movement. Uh, I've still got another action. What will it be? Nunchucks makes you want to keep swinging, but I think, yeah, I think it's correct to just step away because I don't have that many cards left in hand, it looks like. Is Dan considering coming up? Nope. Okay, Dan is also going to drop. We both like having options here. Dan's got six cards, so going into this turn, he's likely to either play a scheme or step in and uh, take a shot. I did end my turn right next to him, making it easy. Here comes the attack. It is a Infinity Mirror into a Little Dragon, um, which is Bruce Lee's Cantonese nickname. So it is a 4 into a 2, I take 2 damage, however I draw 2 cards and Bloody Mary is able to move one of us up to 4 spaces, which is relevant because my movement is 3 and so uh, I could be put just out of range there. I will maneuver. I have a full can of cards, it doesn't look like I have any Jeek and No cards, so that's not ideal. I boost in with a regroup because I want to keep the pressure on, and it is a momentous shift into a broken glass. It was fortunate for me, so mine is a 5 broken glass, is able to pop the value, its own value up to 4 to only take 1 damage, but uh, the effect does not fire. I then take a step away, because Bruce Lee's ability is just pretty good. Uh, Bloody Mary steps in, it is another uh, out of the mirror meets a be like water, and yet again another boost 3 value card is uh, discarded, so 1 damage goes through, but I get a Jeekindo card back. Is it going to be the Incepting Fist again? As we've already seen, having an offensive cancel. There it is, yeah. Um, thematically, they've really got uh, the idea, the style of Jikindo um, really done well in, in this, this block of cards, so well done to the designers. I take a step in, nunchucks come out, and let's see what we go with. It is a we're into the intercepting first into a trick of light, so again, cancelling the move away. I don't want her going anywhere while I continue to chain punches. It's a high straight lead, which is basically a momentous shift into a broken glass. This time it is a 6 into a 4. So 2 damage goes through. Gradually I'm chunking through Bloody Mary's defense. And Dan's in kind of a tough spot at the moment. And here we finish with a 5 value skirmish into a mirror image. Mirror image, pretty solid, um, def defense usually, but with all of these effects that give extra value, one manages to get through. I do win the combat and therefore I step away. I'm left with exactly one card in my hand, which is not great, but the health totals are 7 to 3, so I'm feeling reasonably alright with this. I've also blocked off any way to teleport next to me, so Bloody Mary has to walk kind of a long way around. And then Dan decides to play Stolen Memories and just take away my last card. I don't want to take two damage at this point, so it's worth it just to discard a feint. A feint 
as we've seen, cancels are just very, very strong, so I don't want to discard that, but also damage is just not what I'm looking for right now. So at this point, we just continue to draw up. Um, Dan unfortunately missed the uh, having three cards in hand, so he was on two and then four, which is unfortunate. At this point, I decide, screw it, let's go. So I move, I only have two, two other cards in my hand. Uh, I maneuver, I say bring it on, bringing Bloody Mary into a space in my zone right next to me. I decide to attack. A downward sidekick into a jump scare. Fortunately, I at the last minute decided not to put Bloody Mary in another spot next to me, uh, meaning that jump scare is only through value. It didn't do any damage through anyway, but there we are. And we finish the game with a wrist lock undefended. And there it is. So that's Bruce Lee versus Bloody Mary on a very tight map, the Solomon's Solomon's Mines. Um, I think the tunnels did have did play a big part in that. Um, but yeah, it's always kind of a rough matchup with a solo melee fighter against against Bruce. Thank you again for watching. Catch you next time.